monkey. Three, two, Just a dash. One, Enough one. for chat to be happy. <laughs> that's for sure. First weapon going the way of Wave God and the first little bit of damage, too. Yeah, Wave God picking up the sword. Oh, nicely done with that dodge. Getting the tail end of the sword side air onto 720. Really dominating center stage. 720 gets hit with a side oh. light side air, dips down, and continues jabbing him with the nares. Taking on a nice amount of damage. But D-Light recovery off the platform will get Wave God a decent amount of damage himself. And a nice Perfect. spot dodge on the side stick. That's such a powerful option that... Whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, do, do it again? again. Do it again. <laughs> <We're> bo <laughs> we both think the same thing. We're like, you won't. You, you, I mean, you third won't. time's the charm, right? Uh, but that that is that is quite the... the um, I guess the, for me it would be an embarrassing call out, right? Because it's like, I got, you, you fooled me once, but fooled me uh -huh. twice. Shame on me. That, I, I, I fast fell straight into another interesting... Wave God, after that happening, still Woo. does take the first stock, and Polyshot picks up a scythe, looking for the neutral light, but Wave God ready to dodge it down air right afterwards, and Polyshot just getting interrupted on every single signature move he throws out. Ooh. No, no end take off that side light that time, but the D light neutral sig, haha. Queen, classic, been there since Brawlhalla, heck, gravity canceling, basically. That's Taking right. Him off the top. And then no matter how much power gets taken out of that option, it's still a solid knockout if you can't hit him with any of your actual weapons moves. <laughs> and that, and that is, it, it's hard to do. That's for sure. D light gravity cancel neutral sig is the most optimal knockout. Um, yeah, definitely not easy. You got to let that jump rock for a little bit before you do the gravity cancel, or else it won't reach. Oh right, yo, the chase. chase. Polyshot just chases them down with that orb. It feels like there's no escape. That's my favorite tactic from orb players as well, the gravity cancel neutral light. Very reminiscent of sword players. Do yes. gravity cancel neutral light on the right and left side of the stage to cover wall touches. But uh, orb players will use it in the middle of their strings after a few neutral layers connect, uh, really knocking them away, resetting the game, and getting that extra bit of damage they normally wouldn't have. Neutral stick doesn't hit. Surprised didn't go for a side stick there. Try and maybe oh. a up. Oh, these down sticks from Polyshot have been going to punish. But the Neutral Sig hits, and he takes the lead after being down a stock. All right, so the turnaround begins. Can Polyshot clean this up, or is Wave God going to add another name to his belt? Because don't forget, to get here, he ended up taking down Simple to get into top eight, and before that, took down Blaze, both in 3-2 sets, incredibly close. I like that Polyshot isn't... Uh, phase from uh, going for those signature follow-ups after he hits his bread and butter. Like, he's still trying to get the side thing after the sideline slider on Orb, and I'm like, that's not going to work. But if it does work, I know I'm going to be excited. <laughs> oh, he's so damaged. We've got to be your own biggest one, cheerleader. One recovery on anything, even on Arm. <laughs> he's just throwing the guitars. <laughs> he's like, this will knock you out eventually. Oh, but Polish, I gets the extra credit. He's going to get the last laugh, too. The side air hits. Neutral sig repositions. Avoids the recovery. Wave got low on jumps. But Orb, not the best weapon at capitalizing off stage. And Wave God makes it back. D-Light recovery stocks evened up. So not an insurmountable gap to climb. But Wave God definitely has to be careful. Orange is not where you want to be against a oh. high force legend like Fate. That was all great Whoa. with Wave God. He was able to hit a ton of moves before he was even able to get 720s dodge. But Polly shot. Nice job with that Nair sending him off stage. Not willing to fight the guitars off stage. Very smart. But the neutral light Nair into recovery. Oh, that recovery hit. That would have gotten him so much damage. Polly shot gets a deal light. And then oh. the sick read. And he gets it. Wave got not dodging. And the little delay on the neutral sick really caught him off guard, too. Great game one from 720 Polly shot. Yeah, phenomenal. You can see these clips for rounding it out. That D light. Grab to cancel. Neutral heavy. Then again, that neutral signature, man, he hit so many of those this match. Oh, that's awesome. So he, when he hit the down light, he just uh, slide charged the neutral signature right behind him. Yep. Well played indeed. We're going to game number two, staying on both characters. But now, oh, this will be exciting. It's the first time we've seen Three, Small Brawl Haven two, while we've one, been casting on the lower side of top eight. All right, we may not see this as much because it is a smaller stage, but something that wave... Oh, oh my god. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poly shot with the zero to death, basically. First 10 seconds, that's the orb dream string off the top. Man, I can't... I'm glad that you caught it and you were able to be excited because I was busy reading 
I'm reading the correct pronunciation of Frida's all game uh, or Frida's all name. But now we are here with Wave God versus 720 Poly Shot and uh, that orb string off the top. I think it's the second time that we've seen Poly Shot perform with the orb in a similar capacity. I think he did the same thing to Viper in game number two when he took that three stock to one lead and now doing it to Wave God off the top of Small Brawl Haven. I mean, that's the closest ceiling you're, gonna, you're ever going to get. Oh, yeah. Um, this this yeah, map that, that was a clip and a half. Yeah. Well played so far. <laughs> he has a damage advantage. That cider just uh -huh. now bringing bringing him into the red. Okay. Chance. Ooh. A crazy crazy taxi there off the bottom of the stage. He didn't quite did, didn't quite steer the vehicle the way he wanted to go. Uh, hits the bottom of the stage. Can't make it back with the dodge. Wave God evens up the stocks. Oh, and he gets the dodge Ooh. punish too. Off that down like Nair. Polyshot gets a nice side light. Side air. <gasps> oh! Love the it. The charge two. The level two charge to get the yeah. umbrella spread. And that was just enough to tag him with the back end of it. Yeah, it would not have hit otherwise. I And I was certain that he was going to be going for the first level with the neutral stick as well. But he I held it so just too. long enough. And uh, Wave Dog got caught by it. And now he's continuing to tag, tag on the hurt with the orb. Weapon throw goes down, picks it right back up. And Wave God has to figure out some way to cut his way through onto 720 Poly Shot. One recovery hits. If he gets him that high again, it could probably knock out. But he's got to hit him quite a few times with down lights and theirs to be able to get that to happen. Ooh, close. Wait for the wall bounce. All right, so this is something that Wave God does time and again more than any other player I've seen. It's that ground dash into the spot dodge. Because on the ground, you can only spot dodge. You don't get your directional dodges unless it's immediately out of head stun. And so you need to actually dash and then spot dodge if you want to cover some distance with the iframes. And that's where, you know, that spot dodge has way lower friction. So you will slide like crazy during it. Ouch. Uh-oh. Oh no. Polly shot really wants to end it with that interesting second. Wave God is kind Yo. of thinking, are you gonna disrespect me like that? I think Wave God's gonna take this game. Tigress the style, oh. let's go! No, Dodges it down, gets the under the projectile. Oh, Wave God man. has another shot. Polly shot is a I mean I mean it's hard to <laughs> I feel I kinda the vibe I'm getting is that he's throwing a little bit. He's gotta he's gotta calm down because Wave God is absolutely capitalizing. Those neutral things were a little greedy, and Wave God has put so much damage on them now that he has to look for a sideline side air to be able to win this game. Wave God fighting back so well with the guitars at game number two on small brawl haven. Neutral stick misses. Guitars picked up, weapon oh. throw point blank, but no weapon, and Polly Shot doesn't want to commit. That's oh it. Oh my gosh. So incredibly close at the end there. Man, what wow. a crazy comeback. But Polly shot too strong, holding on. And now he's up 2-0 in the set. So Wave God needs to find that crazy momentum he had at the end there and just carry it through into the next three games. I wouldn't be surprised if we went back to Small Brawl Haven. As we just saw that replay there, ah. Wave God lost a stock in under 10 seconds, doing Jeez. no damage, and almost won that game. If he can play around what Polyshot was doing with the orb there in game number two, there's a strong likelihood that he comes out on top on Small Brawl Haven in game three. So we'll have to see how the stage striking uh, pans out going into here as Polyshot will, will be the one picking the map. Uh, maybe Wave God just leaves Brawl Haven open again and we go right back. But you are correct. Wave God has to win three games in a row to make it to the lower semifinals. Confirm that spot in top four and wait for the winner of the match between Acto and Machete, which will be coming up right after this. Really great game so far, but Polyshot's fate has been something else. I love the way that they're playing on Orb and Scythe, not to mention that the signature usage on Scythe is just it's just a, a, a joy to watch. Oh, but no, yeah. Wave God bans out Small Brawl Haven, and we're going to Demon Island for game number three. All right. I mean, you know, that that's pretty good if Wave God can manage to land those Qatar neutral signatures, a sword neutral signature, a lot of dunking options yeah. that Tigris has. Three, two, and we've seen one. that besides the occasional dash jump, uh, dash jump pivot ground pound on Scythe, Polyshot isn't too willing to go crazy off stage with Orb. Mm. Um, so that's something that Wave God could use to his advantage if he ever is in that edge guard scenario. But we've also seen that when Viper was on the stage against 720 Polyshot, the same orb zero to death off the top happened regardless of the higher ceiling. So <laughs> we'll see true. We'll see if Wave God's able to, to avoid that as uh, he is now fighting for his tournament life.
as Polyshot gets that neutral light and continues. <gasps> well, I said he to go off stage with the orb. I might be wrong. One downer hits, but that's all there is to it. And now Wave got in an advantage state to be able to deny the weapons for Polyshot. But Polyshot doesn't, doesn't care. Oh, that was crucial. He was charging yeah, for just blast. Yeah, little, just little tap in the face. You know, single digit damage, but just sends the message. Yep. Classic, uh, classic D and D rules of your concentration was broke, your spell is canceled. <laughs> right? Like, oh, one damage. My entire, my entire laser beam spell is gone. My turn. Uh, my turn is gone. Three to two, however, and uh, 720 poly shots. Getting hit by that side light, neutral light recovery. All right, Wave Guy, can he even this up real quick? Down here doesn't catch the landing, but the weapon throw does. Wave God hasn't been putting out too many Yusuri down things either, and Polysha has just been getting so much extra credit with that weapon being gone. Wave God's now going to take a ton of damage. Oh, the neutral thing hits, and he tried to reposition for a clever recovery. Oh, man, Polysha. Oh, oh, no. Oh, jeez. That's so much damage coming in unarmed. That's got to hurt. Wave God just pressing Polysha closer and closer, now off stage. Ah! Tried to dip down for that recovery and get him as he was coming back to stage, but no purchase. Picks up the scythe, goes to the nair instead of the down air, and it, it was a 50-50. Uh, th it it kind of looked silly because he reached over Wave God's head, but if you're reading that he's going to go for the jump while you land, that's the best option you could go for. So nair, down air, it all depends on what you think your opponent's going to do. And that end, Wave God got the, the better read, gets the stock, but he's still down pretty heavy in damage, and Polly shot. On the orb, one swift neutral stick catches Wave God floating a little too far or a little too close to the ledge, and Wave God's on his last stock potentially of That's the entire full map. map too. That's true. We've seen Wave God come oh. back from this before in game two, but he wasn't able to close out the game in his victory. Let's see if he's able to do that here. Oh, oh. man, betting big. Oh no. He's gone. That's all it took? That's, That's all, all it, took. it took. Like one of the few times that Polyshot will go <laughs> oh. off stage for crazy stuff. And it's perfect. It's just one down air, and he goes, yep, Demon Island's walls are that short. Goodbye. He's out, and it's a 3-0 in favor of mm. 720 Poly Shot. As they move on to the lower semifinals to secure a spot in top four, we see the neutral stick knockout right here. And let's just take a look at how many jumps. I want to count the jumps here at the, uh, at the replay for Wave God. Oh, special he used recovery. The, he used the recovery early the on. the jump, last jump. And he, he doesn't touch the wall. touch the side. He hit that slant right before coming up. And no drift off that jump. Wave God goes down. And that fooled me. I thought he touched the wall, actually. So when that happened, I was surprised. But yeah, he got down there right before he was able to get that wall touch. And that means mm. that we are getting closer and closer to only four players remaining in the European 1v1 Spring Championship. In the winner's side, as we just saw Pavelski and Heist.